modern history of Alaska. In the grand scheme of things, 98% of Alaska's history is shaped by some 30 indigenous tribes foraging the coast and sparse lands of northwestern America. The first humans crossed the land bridge to the American continent around 14,000 years ago. This video, however, will only look at the last 2% of its history. Starting on a cold July morning in 1741 in the Russian port city, Petropavlovsk, Kamchatsky. Years before, the Russian Tsar Peter the Great ordered the exploration of Russia's eastern waters, after which the Danish explorer Vitus Bering, as well as the Russian explorer Alexei Chirkov, set sail to find the American continent. Both crews were successful in their mission of finding land, but only Chirikov survived the mission and returned with his crew and sea otter pelts, which they found on the newly discovered shores. The high quality of these furs sparked the Russian colonization of Alaska's coast and islands. Due to the harsh conditions, the Russian colonialists violently enslaved the indigenous population to conduct the dangerous hunting, and in the coming decades the Russians strengthened their position in today's Alaska with permanent settlements in order to control the growing business. During the turn of the century, the Russian-American company, which by then held a monopoly on the fur trade in Alaska, turned into an official colonial possession of Russia, but business was hard. Imported disease from the European mainland decimated the indigenous population, leaving Russians to do their hard labor, which diminished any profits from the operation. This, coupled with other unfortunate business decisions, which further harmed the colony's profitability, plus fear of the British taking over the territory, led Russia to finally sell all land in today's Alaska to the rising United States for a lump sum of 7.2 million US dollars, which is equivalent to 131 million US dollars when adjusted to inflation. The roughly 700 Russians which still lived in the area had the chance to become American citizens, but only a few took the opportunity and instead many of them returned to the Russian mainland. During the Russian occupation, the backland of Alaska remained mostly unexplored, which immediately changed with the takeover of the Americans. For the 20 years following the purchase, Alaska was governed by different US governmental branches such as the Department of Treasury or the Army until it finally received its de facto governor in 1884. In these years, the new district was close to falling into disregard since more important issues such as the rebuilding after the Civil War were on the agenda of Washington, but the discovery of gold towards the end of the 18th century elevated the popularity to an unmatched level and thousands of opportunists came and stayed. New cities such as Fairbanks were founded as a result and the arriving settlers also ventured off into other businesses like copper mining, fishing and whaling, which all turned out to be very profitable. During the early 19th century, Alaska was mostly minding their own business, developing industries and growing in population. There have been attempts to turn the now territory of Alaska into an official state. A lack of interest from the Alaskan side, however, failed this endeavor. During the Second World War, however, Alaska moved more and more into the focus of attention of Washington due to its strategic position between Japan and the continuous United States. The Japanese even started conquering some far west islands, which were recaptured in the following year by the Americans. This battle stayed the only invasion of North American soil throughout the entirety of the Second World War. The increased attention was still not enough to drive statehood for Alaska. After the Second World War, however, the discovery of oil quickly changed Washington's opinion, and in 1959, Dwight D. Eisenhower finally passed the Alaskan Statehood Act giving way for the 49th state of the Union. 